Hi everybody, welcome back. Today is very exciting because for the first time we are going to use the Python programming language and oh, in, in the next few videos, I'm not sure how long each is going to take, I'm just going to cut it up, and each video is going to be implementing simple linear regression in Python. So very exciting because it's implementing something. It means we've taken some sort of mathematical concept, just letters and symbols, and we're going to turn it into code. And then after we turn it into code, we're going to actually use it to do something cool. But we're writing it generally first because it is a general concept from math. So note that it's not necessarily the best possible way to do this. There is better ways of writing the code. There is better ways of it being faster implemented for sure. And we will use the libraries or the, the functions that people provided to us later to do this stuff. But it's very important to first, for a lot of different things, uh, implement it yourself if you can. So we will be using Python. And if you don't know anything about Python, it's going to be a little bit difficult to follow this, although you might be able to. Uh, there is a Python playlist that I have that will get you up to speed for sure. Just those first three modules are good to go. Even just a little bit is probably okay. And if not, um, you know, learn from Python from whoever you want to. That's totally okay. So if you're here, then you probably know Python. And if you do, we are not going to use any libraries other than, you know, possibly built-in stuff from Python, but nothing like NumPy or Pandas, the ones you might have heard of. Sorry to randomly run away from you, but I switched over so you can see the iPad too, and we're going to talk about the, the different pieces of simple linear regression that are important to us for coding, because some of it was just for understanding everything, some of it you need for coding. So in general, you're going to need some sort of way to visualize this that's not important for actually creating the math, although we will use a plotting library called matplotlib or plotly later. But for now, we don't need to worry about plotting it. So this is not this is not important. We do need this sort of function. We need to make this thing, which is very easy. It's it's just a function that takes in two parameters and an input and it's going to spit out the its best output given that that x value tuned according to some data okay so it has to be trained on data so we're going to need a function that trains or what we mean by train is it just means uh, move beta naught and beta one around give them different values until we find the line that we want we want this line we figured out how to do that we invented this thing called the mse which is one over n so an average the sum of the squared errors our prediction which is this thing minus the actual data point so we need actual data points as well to maximize this thing we talked a lot about derivatives but it turns out for simple linear regression we don't need to worry about the derivatives at all we just need to worry about the result that it gave us in actual machine learning or more complicated machine learning, we're definitely going to know what, need to know what the derivatives are, um, at least for implementing the solutions or the algorithms, you will need to know the derivatives. But it turns out that the whole point for this one was just to get these results right here. We needed to get the solution for beta naught and beta one hat, sorry about the, the, the angle there. So we needed to know that beta naught hat was going to be y bar minus the right beta one hat times x bar where y bar is simply the average of the y's and x bar is the average of the x's and beta one hat turns out to be this ratio of this weird summation thing which i'm not going to say aloud but the point is that there's a formula for beta one and then dependent on that value you can substitute that in to beta naught and you're good to go so we need some some part of training as well, which basically does this thing, which for a given data set, you can see, I'll, I'll point at it right here, for a given data, which is the x, uh, x and y pairs, it's to, to train beta naught and beta one, you just need this data and then you plug in the formula. So we're gonna need to make that as well. And that's pretty much it, is you're gonna need to be able to train beta naught and beta one so that makes that gets you the right values of those based off of the data that we see we don't need any of the derivative stuff we probably should have some sort of uh, mse function which just says how what your error is although you technically don't need it to make the linear regression we are going to write one just to say uh, how bad our model is but that's pretty much it and then we'll plot it so in the next video we're going to start 
actually writing this stuff out. Sorry, I didn't use any Python technically. Uh, it's just setting the groundwork for what we need to code.